This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminito Swain. The bomb is looking to borrow $90 million from the Inter-American Development Bank. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable K. Peter Turnquist, to introduce the resolution to Parliament Wednesday. Those funds will address three main projects that include infrastructure upgrades to family island airports, climate resilient coastal management and infrastructure, and skills to boost employability for Bahamian youth. In other business news, Fidelity Bank Bahamas Limited via its Charity of the Quarter program recently presented a donation to Trinity Methodist Church to assist with the organization's outreach program. Trinity offers assistance to the needy, providing clothing and food. Program Administrator Lauren Higgs said they do what they can to assist those in need, but their work would not be possible without institutions like Fidelity. Each quarter, a different charity is chosen by the bank's donation committee, and customers are encouraged to donate. Fidelity then matches the donation up to $10,000. And in international business news, stocks are sinking again today, extending a streak of losses that's yanked the market away from record highs. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slumped more than 400 points. The tumult started last Friday as investors worried about signs of rising infl inflation. The market fell steadily as the day wore on and is on track for its fifth loss in six days. Those companies that fell the most included technologies companies that led the sector over the past year and banks. Well, that was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain.